twirling is a sport full of physics. In this video, we're going to examine the kinematics of baton twirling. For twirling knives, throwing knives, and a simple high toss. We're going to begin with the video of me twirling the knives. The knives make a total of five and a half revolutions in five seconds. Leading us to the first slide, we can see our, our constants, revolutions, and time. And then we can calculate displacement by multiplying the number of revolutions times 2 pi radians to lead us to 11 pi radians for displacement. And we can also calculate our average velocity, which is theta displacement over t time, which is 11 pi radians over 5 seconds, otherwise known as 6.9 radians per second. Going on, we would usually calculate for the acceleration at this point with all of our constant li constants listed. However, there is no acceleration, so our batons and knives in this case remain at a constant speed. Next, we're going to take a look at the video of me throwing the knives. The knives make a total of one revolution in 1.5 seconds. Moving on to the next slide, we can see that the displacement is 2 pi radians, and calculating for the average velocity using the same method as before, we're going to find that to be 4.2 radians per second. Next, we're going to calculate the acceleration by plugging in the equations shown in purple, and we'll find alpha acceleration to be 2.8 radians per second squared. Now we're going to take into account that the radius of the knives are 27 inches, which is also equal to 0.69 meters. With this, we're able to find out the tangential velocity, which ends up being 2.9 meters per second, the tangential acceleration, 1.9 meters per second squared, and the centripetal acceleration, which is 12 meters per second squared. The final video we're going to take a look at is the high toss. We can see that the baton here makes four revolutions in a time of two seconds. So our displacement will be 4 times 2 pi, which equals 8 pi radians, and our average velocity will be 13 radians per second using the method in the first two segments. Now we're going to calculate the acceleration using the same method as in the previous segment, which gives us an acceleration of 6.3 radians per second squared. Finally, as in before, we're going to calculate the tangential velocity, tangential acceleration, and centripetal acceleration. However, none of these are possible without knowing the radius, so it is worthwhile to note that the radius of the baton is 13 inches, which is equal to 0.33 meters. Thus, the tangential velocity is 4.3 meters per second, tangential acceleration is 2.1 meters per second squared, and the centripetal acceleration is 56 meters per second squared. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new, and I also hope you have a wonderful day.